Welcome to the Natural Medic Adventures. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're talking about defining a purpose of why we do what we do. And to hear more about that, about what makes me tick as far as outdoors, hiking, backpacking, camping, etc., why I enjoy doing that, stay tuned. Maybe I will inspire some self-reflection in whoever's watching this and they'll understand why they do what they do and how they're attracted to the outdoors. Good morning. I am hiking burnt forest at the Caddo Lake National Wildlife Refuge and thought I would do a video and tell you why I do what I do. My outdoor purpose or outdoor mission statement. If you weren't aware, the world moves pretty fast. And to quote Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. So, you really shouldn't take things at face value or for granted. The reason I'm out here is I enjoy spending time in nature. I enjoy being out here in the wilds, away from people, and able to enjoy some quiet time, solitude, hear the birds chirp and sing and the frogs croak and <laughs> all that other good stuff. To quote another uh, guy I admire, that would be John Muir. John Muir said, in every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. I want to tell you a little bit about my story about how I came to be associated with the outdoors and so on and so forth. So let me tell you that in just a minute. I think one of the biggest things about spending time in nature, whether you're hiking or backpacking, camping, whatever, is studies have shown, I think, when you do this yourself, you feel it. You feel the, just, I don't know, the gentle calmness of the outdoors, the forest or the prairie or the mountains or whatever. And it has a calming sensation. Studies have shown exposure to nature lessens anxiety, depression, other forms of behavioral or mental illness. And we all probably could use a better feeling in our lives. So we've arrived at the Hope Cemetery number two here in the uh, Caddo National, Caddo Lake National <laughs> Wildlife Refuge. It's one of my favorite hikes to do in the area. And we come out here in in the wilds to experience things we don't normally get to experience. Where can you go? I'm in East Texas, but in your area probably. Where can you go to see cool things like this? You have to go on a hike. You have to get out there in the outdoors. You can't drive to this. You have to walk to this or use some other means to get to it. So things like this just fascinate me. And keep that wonder about me. That's what I've always enjoyed about being in the outdoors. It started off as a Boy Scout. I was lucky enough to be involved with a very active troop. We got to go camping not too far from here at Caddo Lake State Park, which is just right around the bend here. And that was pretty much where I got hooked. 
I enjoyed all the different aspects of Boy Scouts, learning how to be a good citizen, learning how to be a, somebody in touch with the outdoors and being somebody of service. And that's kind of what got me into loving the outdoors. And I carried that on, you know, through my formative years until I graduated high school. I earned my degree in forest recreation management from Stephen F. Austin State University. So not only have I had a lot of good experiences in scouts, those good experiences translated into a career. I worked in uh, two state park systems and some other related jobs for greater than a decade. <laughs> and. Uh, I really enjoyed that, and then when the, some funding issues happened, long story short, I pivoted into EMS. And now I'm coming back full circle into interviewed for a job with Texas Parks and Wildlife about a week ago from when I'm filming this. It'll be a week ago tomorrow. Your passion and your first love, I think you always come back to that. But you see, so many cool places, so many special places when you get involved in the outdoors. And for me too, I largely feel that being in the outdoors is a spiritual place. I don't currently attend any church, but I do feel very close to God when I'm out here in the outdoors. It's a very spiritual experience out here and so whatever your reason is right now I, I ask you to question yourself and ask why do I want to be involved in the outdoors whether it's backpacking hiking kayaking camping whatever or why do I do it if you're currently doing it if you're not doing it I definitely encourage you to try. In our modern society where everything goes pretty fast, people are more and more connected than ever, yet we're so much more apart than ever. I encourage you not only to get yourself involved, but to get your, if, you're, if you have a family, get your family involved. If you have kids, get your kids involved. If you have you know, people that would be interested in this stuff get it involved get them involved I would love to hear in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube you know what your story is how did you get involved in enjoying the outdoors with and what's your favorite sport it doesn't have to be backpacking even though we focus on hiking and backpacking in this channel there's other things I like to do I like to geocache I like to kayak I like to camp whether that's car camping or what I enjoy all that stuff I did grow up and was raised in Texas I'm still in Texas currently I wish there was more opportunities for people to get out and experience things not that there's anything wrong with hunting and fishing or boating or whatever but I don't really enjoy those as much I have done those in the past I don't enjoy those as much as just getting out here and taking a hike in the forest or putting a backpack with all my stuff on my back and spending time out in the or remote area for a couple of days or more. I love that. If you've never tried it, please ask me any, com any questions or comments you have below. I'd love to help you get started and definitely check it, take a look at my other content here on my YouTube or on the podcast. I definitely hope you had a great day and enjoyed watching this. If you have any value gained from this, please give me a thumbs up. I would love to see that and love to have a conversation with you if you have any questions. Have a great rest of your week. Thanks, y'all.